Hi, my name is Robbie with Mighty Auto Parts. In today's video, I'm excited to walk you through the latest industry recommended practices when performing a puncture repair on passenger and light truck tires. Let's move on to the steps using a one-piece combination unit. It is vital to perform a thorough external and internal inspection first to determine if the tire should be repaired. Make sure to mark the injury with a crayon. Avoid inverting radial tires and excessive spreading of the beads. Look for weather cracking on the sidewall, exposing the cords, and check for any bead damage. Be sure the injury is in the tread area and does not exceed one quarter inch six millimeter. Use a probe in the injury to remove foreign material and to determine the angle of the injury. Always use appropriate lighting to enable you to clearly see all non-repairable conditions such as run flat, improper repairs, or damage to the external sidewall or inner liner. If the angle of the injury is greater than 25 degrees, you must use a two-piece repair system. Use rubber prep and a scraper to remove contaminants from the inner liner such as silicone and mold lubricants that will greatly reduce adhesions or even cause failure. Repeat this process two or three times where needed and be sure to clean an area larger than the repair. Using a low speed drill, maximum 1200 RPM, and the appropriate size carbide cutter or other suitable tool, drill the injury from the inside first three or four times to cut away the steel and provide a round injury to accept the stem. Repeat three or four times from the outside of the tire. Inspect to be sure you do not have splits in the rubber and have removed all the damage. If the injury gets larger than one quarter of an inch, six millimeter, the tire is non-repairable and therefore there is no need to buff the tire. Select the appropriate combination repair unit based on industry recommendations. Center the unit over the injury and outline an area about one half inch, 13 millimeter, larger than the repair unit. To prevent contamination and preserve the outline, buff within the marked area using a low speed buffer, 5000 RPM or less, and a fine grit rasp. Buff the liner to a TRMG BT1 or 2 texture to obtain a velvety looking surface. Remove all rubber dust with a brass brush and vacuum to provide a clean, dry surface. Apply a coat of cement to the injury channel using a spiral cement tool or probe, then apply a thin coat of cement to the entire buffed surface. Stippling the cement can speed up dry time by moving the cement down into the buffed surface. Allow for the cement to completely dry. Do not use compressed air or hair dryers as they can contaminate the buffed surface. While drying, rotate the tire to the 12 o'clock position to prevent contamination. Normal dry time is three to five minutes and will vary with temperature and humidity. When installing the repair, the beads should be in a relaxed position. Start by pushing the end of the metal quill into the injury channel. Next, grab the metal quill from the outside of the tire with pliers and pull firmly and the metal quill will pop off. Then grab the rubber stem and pull again until the patch begins to dimple in the center and stop. Using your thumb, push down from the center outwards to seat the repair unit to the liner. Stitch the entire repair unit using a serrated stitcher vigorously from the center outwards. Repeat this from the opposite direction. This will eliminate trapped air and begin the chemical vulcanization process. Cut off the stem on the outside of the tire to 1 8 of an inch, 3 millimeter, above the tread surface without stretching the stem. Apply a coat of inner liner sealer to the repair area making sure to cover all exposed buffed surface and the edges of the patch. This will provide integrity to the liner for the life of the tire. Thanks for watching today's video on passenger and light truck puncture repair. 
If this video was helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you can check out more videos to help make you the best in the industry.